Good morning everyone, we are here at Swift headquarters. We're about to start this trip, super stoked. So basically it's just a weekend of riding bikes and making art with uh, Chris McNally. Uh, if you follow him, he's the Scorps on uh, Instagram. Chris McNally. Hi. Howdy, this is Aaron. You guys know Jason from Swift and Steven. So this is the crew. What's, the, what's happening this weekend? <laughs> We're gonna go on a bike tour of the San Juans and do some drawing and painting. Which island are we take? Are, are we ferrying to? Orcas Island. Anything we should know about Orcas? It's the hilliest island. <laughs> uh, it's beautiful, as are all the islands. And it's gonna be our base camp for the next couple days. Yeah, so the format of this is uh, we're not gonna be touring with all the gear. We're gonna set up a, a camp with our tents uh, and stuff and be exploring the <laughs> islands uh, by bike and making art. <laughs> early which is what I wanted yeah and then there's actually a nice little there's a path over here uh, and there's a nice little beach area the tides out so you can actually probably walk along the beach hmm. y'all should cool. just do your thing around here for now but when we get on the boat let's all meet um, on the passenger deck just together we'll maybe find a one of the boots that has a table and we can hang out and kind of talk about the next steps. All right, so we just uh, wrapped up uh, another little quick meal at the visitor center. Good place to hang out, waiting for the ferry. So we're just killing time before we hop on the ferry. And uh, not a bad place to wait. It's low tide right now, so you can walk out on this little beach here. <laughs> we have made some art kits for our guests. Do these cameras yeah, look, yeah. automatically up, the upload to Instagram? Say. They do, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they've got that 3G film. <laughs> Whoa, with travel brushes? I don't have any travel brushes. Nice, that's so good. Oh, it's like a mixing part too? Give me a tour of what's inside. Okay. <laughs> so we wanted to make it all pretty mobile and pretty compact. So we got a set of travel brushes. Bad. Pretty nice because you don't have to carry something to like protect the tip. You can just pack them so away like this. Nice we have a, like a water pen or a water brush. Oh, yeah. A nice black wing pencil. Nice. But the lead is like incredible to draw with. Micron pens, an eraser, and a pencil sharpener. And then this I'm almost the most excited about is a little watercolor palette. It's so cute. Put together by some folks in Port Townsend. Port Townsend, yeah. art toolkit. And uh, these are Daniel Smith watercolor paints, which are like the best. Yeah, this little palette is like micro, tiny little thing. It's like it has, a, it's ultralight. <laughs> yeah, it is. It, it really kind of like, I feel like fits with bike packing, just the most minimal gear you can have. This is like the art equivalent of like cutting your toothbrush in half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like Steven was just saying that he cuts down his his brushes, but you know, this is kind of like yeah, the same thing. Uh, campsite and these are gonna be the digs for the weekend so we've got a little pop-up tent in case it rains which Jason said it wouldn't <laughs> Did not say that. never rains out here he said <laughs> San Juan's are in a, a rain shadow so it, it, it never rains <laughs> that's why it's so green so there might be some rain so uh, Got Master Jason. We're just doing an impromptu uh, knot tying clinic. <laughs> you learn life skills on this camp. No, this was actually, uh, I think this is a John Steinbeck limited edition oh, okay, Blackwing. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, John Steinbeck? Yeah. John Steinbeck? yeah. John it is the John Steinbeck. <laughs> <laughs> but a bunch of pencil yeah. and pen nerds. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> you guys are such dorks. <laughs> <laughs> the rain's coming down. <laughs> but we've got a tarp up. 
And uh, right now uh, we're just swatching out the colors, kind of getting accustomed to them. Uh, pretty good exercise to see what the colors look like at full strength and as you dilute them. So what's your favorite color from the bunch? Oh, definitely the ultramarine. Ultramarine? Yeah. How about you, Steven? Indigo. Indigo. I'm kind of stoked on the, the the Quinn Rose and the Lavender. Like, I, those two colors I don't usually use, but they're so vibrant. So it's a little wet. Um, I think we're gonna skip the ride for today and we're gonna take the van into town, find our way to a tavern, uh, bring the art supplies and we'll continue the lessons there. But um, you know, just trying to make the best of uh, a really wet situation. Day one, uh, not exactly what we had planned. It got really rainy. So we kind of called it a little bit early for the day and just nerded out on art. Went to a bar, uh, did some sketching, talked more about art, and uh, took it pretty easy. I don't think anyone really wanted to ride. There was like this huge storm uh, that came through. Not a whole lot you can do about the weather. Today is uh, morning of day two and we're gonna do some riding today. I think we're uh, gonna alter the plans a, a little bit. Instead of going to another island, we're just gonna explore Orcus. Uh, maybe go up to Mount Constitution, depending on what the weather looks like. But we're just gonna put around the island, ride bikes, and make some art. What's for breakfast, Jason? Uh, we're gonna have some breakfast burrito. So this is uh, Chris McNally. He's uh, mixing up the paint we're gonna be using for the day. <laughs> <laughs> what pigment number is this? <laughs> T.W. Eggy. Yeah. <laughs> so eggs, tortillas, porky bits. Porky uh, bits, veggie sausage. So I think while uh, everyone else is packing up, I thought I would give you a little bit closer tour of the Kona Road that we're riding. Uh, so this is part of their rental fleet. So if you do a trip with Swift Adventure Co, you have the option to uh, rent the bike and have it outfitted with the bags, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is the Kona Road ST. It's got a special colorway that's designed to match uh, the bags that they made. I think as a complete deal, it comes with uh, the Paloma. It comes with two panniers not on the bike currently, and a Zeitgeist. Uh, I do not have the Zeitgeist because I have stubby legs and it wouldn't quite fit uh, for me. But that's what it looks like. <laughs> so as you can see, it's a, it just blends uh, really well with the bike. It comes with uh, alloy fenders. It does come with a tubus rack in the front that's not on here. Uh, so totally outfitted for your adventure. Uh, it's got three pack mounts. So if you want to run an anything cage or something more minimal, you have options to do that. In terms of group set, it's got the new new uh, Shimano GRX, and a lot of you've been asking about that. And uh, so far, I'm digging it. I think the biggest, uh, most noticeable difference for me is the controls. It's super flat, so when you're riding on the tops, it's very comfortable. And another big change is the front. If you look here. This part is super flat as well, so really hard to miss. So I don't know, maybe you lose like half a watt in terms of aerodynamics, but you gain a lot in terms of a, a really comfortable perch to, to uh, use the brake. One of the things I really like about this build and a GRX in general is uh, the new chain ring combinations. You guys know I've been complaining about a compact road double and how it's asinine to put that on a adventure bike. They have the wide range double, so 4630. Lots of uh, low low for climbing steep stuff, gravel stuff, uh, with a load. Uh, way more reasonable than compact road double. And uh, I'm digging it. Shifts really well. I uh, haven't had a need for uh, any lower gear so far, although we will see going up Mount Constitution. Again, I'll probably do a more in-depth review uh, after this trip, after the Ochikos. Uh, but that's the bike. So here's a super quick pro tip for the dangle life. You want to put your mug in this direction so it's more aerodynamic, because if you do it this way, you're gonna lose about five watts. And we're off. All right, so we're rolling. We've got about five miles to Moran State Park. And then from there, it's uh, uphill. Hopefully we'll get to the top of Constitution and make some art. So if you've never ridden on the San Juans, it's pretty hilly. I think Orcus is the hilliest of the islands. Uh, it's certainly got the tallest peak. So the grades are 8 to 10%. <laughs> it's 
So pretty good even though we're not even on the main climb yet. So bring your climbing legs. <laughs> Getting ready to enter Moran State Park. And it's got this super cool arch here. Pretty majestic way to enter a uh, state park. All right, so we're making the left to get more upness. <laughs> so though we are making art, it's not a necessarily easy rut. <laughs> you have to earn your art. <laughs> Five miles to the top of uh, Constitution. And the road's actually pretty nice. Now it hovers around six to eight percent, kind of windy, uh, pretty low traffic right now. Pedaled up about halfway, so we are at Mountain Lake. Very moody right now with the low clouds and the fog. I think we're gonna do a super quick uh, sketch session over here. All right, wrapped up uh, my little watercolor sketch. Uh, this is the scene, and this is a complete painting. Should have done a value study first. Yeah, when I was doing like, when I was doing this, I kept squinting. I was like, I got to make this darker. I got to make this darker. I got to make this darker. It looks like we're getting ready to roll out. Just wrapped up this uh, first whoa sketch session. Um, thing about rain and watercolors. Usually when it's like this, very difficult to dry, so. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We'll call it a day. It's a pretty solid climb. It's like uh, 10, 11%. They're earned this artwork. So cool little switchback back there. Getting uh, up towards the fog line. Oh, look who I ran into. How's it going, man? It's going. Hi! Everyone enjoying your land, milestone rides? Wow. Can you get your name? Ryan, Ryan Conaty. I follow you on Instagram. Cool, nice, nice to meet you guys. Nice How's it going? This is Jason from Swift, Aaron from Hi. Texas. <laughs> <laughs> what a small world! So that was cool running into our friend Johnny. I think he just wrapped up leading the uh, northern tier route for ACA. Actually hit some pretty decent grades. I think the steepest so far has been 22%. <laughs> but always hovering around 9 or 10. Yeah, I made it to the top. We made it! <laughs> How was it? Oh. <laughs> That's a koala sound. <laughs> it's a pretty good climb. Let's see. 2200 feet. What's the topic today? We're talking value studies? Kind of uh, three steps to getting going on art with uh, planning, value studies, and then focusing on your detail. So I usually start just by planning and taking a moment to look at the setting and just taking it all in. And from there, I'll usually develop a few value study thumbnails that are just super fast just to get the basic elements and composition of it. And then also determine where I'm gonna have detail in, this, in the drawing or painting. For me, successful paintings will have like areas of detail and areas of quieter or a little bit more so passive to let the, the eye or viewer rest. Mm -hmm. So I try to work all that out in my black and white value studies. All right, so we're just up here on the top mountain uh, making some art. It's a little cold, but uh, we nerded out about values, um, importance of light and dark, and, and making thumbnails before we make the final painting, all that good stuff. And yeah, so far a little spot of blue up there. Maybe we'll get a view, but um, I think next, after we're, we're done with the art making, we're gonna go downhill, maybe do a little bit more riding, hit another spot, and then off to dinner. We were riding through some fog and we hit this super clear patch. You can actually see stuff. This would be a good reference photo for a, a painting for later. <laughs> what do you think? 
pretty rad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a little different from a D- from a DFW. <laughs> yeah, a little more hilly. Yeah, a little more. Just a little bit. <laughs> All right, so we wrapped up a fun little cocktail and drawing session. Uh, we're heading back to camp and uh, have a quick shower and then off to dinner. Pretty stoked about dinner tonight. It's supposed to be a cool uh, restaurant. One of the owners he used to be a bike courier. It's supposed to be a James Beard uh, nominated restaurant on Orcas. So stoked. Uh, what do you guys think? Delicious. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just kind of uh, artisanal pizzas. Uh, amazing like little small plates. Pretty surprising uh, dining for, for Orcas, at least for me. All right, so we've arrived at the uh, ferry landing here in Orcas. We're gonna take it to Lopez and uh, start, our, start our day. So we're cruising through the super cute town here on Lopez. I think we're gonna keep going to the reef. So one cool thing is we've been seeing a ton of cyclists from uh, on the ferry to just as we've been riding around a short little bit. So it seems like a pretty popular cycling destination on the island. Also a little bit more chill traffic uh, than yesterday. Destination, uh, a place called Shark Reef. Shark Reef, thank you. So this is the e-bike portion of the tour. <laughs> so Shark Reef Sanctuary, we get to pet sharks, like retired sharks. Yep. Retired sharks. <laughs> San Jose sharks. Okay guys, this is a new trend in uh, bike packing. Velcro's not... It's long not enough to get around my... Yeah, it's not big enough for those guns. <laughs> they must have cut those at 22 inches, huh? <laughs> nice. Now you need to put it around your waist so your pants don't fall. <laughs> oh, this is like... Fabio's fanny on steroids. Yeah. <laughs> nice fanny pack. <laughs> Do it. Hip bag. Yeah. <laughs> So this is a this is super like a top secret Swift project. This is the Fabs, Fabs Ultra Fanny. I barely even notice it's there. Does it turn into a chair when you sit down? You turn around. Nice. The large, so cutting into the my large gut. Fat <laughs> your gut. I wouldn't take, I wouldn't go to the bathroom properly again <laughs> the trip if I wore that around. All right, so we've been walking along this trail. It's pretty cool. It's got a little boardwalk stretches, and we're starting to see the water. Nice, cool. It's a cool spot. So I think this is where we're, we're going to do our art nerd out. Nice. Dang. Got some stuff with the gram. Yeah. So we, uh, Made some art at this spot, and I think we're gonna hop on the road again and loop back to the ferry. Jason's got a, a fun gravel road for us. Yep. 
<laughs> it's awesome. It's got some downs and some ups and some uh, ruddy bits. Just like life. And it keeps <laughs> us off the highway. All right, we've hit the, the grab grab. So Jason, are these bikes gravel bikes? All bikes are gravel bikes, Russ. <laughs> One of those people. <laughs> this gravel section is pretty neat. It's actually a little bit more like hard packed dirt. Uh, you come in through this kind of wide open pasture and farm and it gets all woody. So that's one of the cool things about this trip is uh, you do get some variation in terrain. Yay, zero fatalities. <laughs> we're back on the pavement. Uh, it's pretty cruisy. Still some hills, but we're working our way back to the ferry. So a couple more miles left for the day. All right, so we just wrapped up another fun little art session. Uh, here by this uh, park by the water. We got a ride out to the ferry and that's it for the day. So another fun day of uh, riding bikes around the islands and making art. The last day we are packing up camp. Bikes are getting loaded, personal bags uh, in the van. And uh, we've got one more stop for today. It's gonna be a park on uh, Anacortes. And uh, after that, I think uh, as a group, uh, we're gonna go to Daniel Smith, the art store, and uh, all weekend we've been talking about art supplies and you know why we like certain paints and brushes and paper, and I think we're gonna have a massive uh, art art supply nerd out at Daniel Smith, which will be cool. So uh, we did some painting in the park and we are back here in Seattle and uh, we decided to stop at, uh, I don't know, kind of the watercolor mecca of Daniel Smith. What do you walk out with? <laughs> Under a hundred dollars, doing great. <laughs> Yeah. Under hundred dollars, which is hard to do here. <laughs> I know. I got Jane's gray and this giant empty paint marker. Nice. And I only got a sketchbook. That's it. <laughs> yeah. That's not even close to a hundred. Yeah, <laughs> so that was the Daniel Smith store. Definitely uh, a spot to check out. A uh, fun way to end the trip. And I think, uh, speaking of endings, I think I'm going to end the video here. Uh, overall, it was a great trip. You know, weather. Uh, you know, besides the weather, is great crew of people good riding and it was fun to ride bikes make art not feel any pressure like we had to keep riding because you know one of the main purposes was the art making and uh, just a good time nerding out amongst other artists and also learning from Chris uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video look for our next video which is gonna be on the Ochiko Overlander which is uh, <laughs> in a couple days until then keep the self aside down quick stop at, at the Swift showroom it's where the magic happens <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to get you. Yeah, okay. Hi, how's it going? How's the trip? I'm Russ. Hi, Russ, how are you doing? Good <laughs> to see you. <laughs> <laughs>